Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, it's the Barber Half Dollars this time. I've been working on the quarters for a while. It's time to show the halves a little bit of love. So I've got a decent condition 1908D. And then I decided to go for a whole year's worth of uh, coins here. These are the 1896 with each of the branch mints. So this is the Philadelphia coin. Not too, too bad. Got some letters visible in the E Pluribus Unum. 1896 New Orleans, this one. Been cleaned a few times, kind of rougher condition, but still happy to have it. And then the 1896 S. Oh, I didn't show you. The S. And, <laughs> and pretty cool. So this one also a little rougher condition. Uh, 1896, actually in the um, mint state, this one is a key date. It would be like the second hardest one to get in mint state. So... Let's put them in the book. All right, so when looking at the grade for these coins, the number of letters in Liberty is key. So this one's fully readable. Um, there are some other problems with this coin. I don't know if it's been dinged or what, and there's some stains, but the coin shop graded this as VEF20. And I kind of think it's more like a F15. So the ER in Liberty is kind of usually the first to go in the where. And then on the reverse, uh, as long as E pluribus unum is fully readable. And then you're looking for the lines in the shield. And so this one's still fairly decent. So, but like I say, it's got some dings here and there. So... Not sure how it would truly grade out, but still pretty cool. There's 3,280,000 minted. And it's going to look super nice in the book here. I guess I should get it the right orientation. <laughs> it's a little tight, but that's good. And we're off to the races. There it is. So it looks good. All right, and here we go, 1896, Philadelphia. So again, we're looking for the letters in Liberty. And as long as there are at least three letters visible, it counts for VG. And this one, not too, too bad. Can see a few more than three letters, so happy with that. And 950,000 minted, and so that's not a ton for a Philadelphia coin, but pretty cool. And then the New Orleans one, looking for the letters in Liberty. I can see, actually with the loop, I can see four letters. There's an L-I and a T-Y. The Y is kind of off the edge of the cap at the top, <laughs> at the top, but still there. So this one, uh, one no, actually 924,000 minted. And like I mentioned, the mint state coins are super, super rare. So uh, that is considered a key date. Then, last but certainly not least, 1896 S. Right, again, looking for the letters in the crown there, Liberty. If you can see at least three, it counts as a VG. I can see an LI and a TY, so I don't know. And there are 1,140,748 minted. And this one is kind of more expensive than the New Orleans coin. So it is interesting, even though it has higher mintage, um, there are fewer available. So 
uh, not as many survivors. I don't know if they melted them or what. So anyway, happy to uh, knock off all the 1896 and add a cool 1908 Denver. Thanks so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye. Bye.